My dear viewers, thank you for 700 subscribers. We made the 700 subscriber mark this week. So I would like to thank you with this video. My dear viewers, welcome to a new episode of Busy Bee from Germany. Today we have the topic, the never ending discussion. Did they use mohair for vintage Barbie or not? Imagine you are a mohair goat farmer and your goats have only long enough hair once a year so that you can cut it. Would that really make sense to you to ship it to Japan? The main producers of Angora goat hair are South Africa, Lesotho, Madagascar and Australia. The production is very expensive. Angora goat hair was not available in Japan. The import is very expensive and the quantity is not high enough so that you can give all dolls Angora goat hair. So, seen the whole story from a Japanese Barbie production company, this would make no sense to import expensive goat hair to Japan just for using it for dolls. From what I read about in Kitura Westenhauser's book is that the production was arranged locally with local factories and local suppliers. To import the goat hair would have been a much, much too expensive story for making a one or two dollar Barbie doll. The next point, speaking against Angora goat mohair hair for Barbie dolls is the point that it's not just the cutting but it's also the cleaning. The cleaning is also a very time consuming process even if you use machinery. And by the way, do you need how doll hair is put into a doll head? Here I have a little example for you that makes the process better understandable for you because you need a synthetic fiber to put a always being the same strength like fabric to put it into a doll hair with a sewing machine. This method has not changed very much in the last 60 years. And these machines are also the reason why they used artificial hair because you always have the same strengths of thread for putting it in the doll head. Not all good fibers have the same length and that's the problem here. By the way, did you know that the average Barbie assembler was a Japanese housewife in the early years and they wanted to earn some money for the family so that they could have a better life. You can get a better impression of these factors when you watch Japanology. My dear viewers, in this book you have finally the answer that they use saran hair for vintage Barbie dolls and no mohair from the mohair goats. My dear viewers, I hope you have learned something in this video. I could bring light into the question, into the never ending discussion, did they use mohair goat hair for vintage Barbie or not? Question of the day is, how many vintage Barbie dolls do you have in your collection? Let me know in the comments below. So, I hope this is clearer to you now. 
I hope you like my little video. You have learned something. You stay tuned in. You can recommend me to your collector friends or you can make me suggestions for new videos down under my comment box. I hope we see each other in the next weeks. See you and have a nice day. You're a busy bee from Germany. Bye.